Well, the Great Commission is a constant reminder that God is calling his people to go out. For some, that means going out in the neighborhood, maybe another state, but for others, it could be all the way around the world. Such was the case for Lima's Chuck Bertling, who 16 years ago made his first trip to Asia in a ministry capacity. Chuck was recently back to the United States for the first time in more than two years. He spends days investing in the lives of children who live in the garbage dumps of Thailand and other southeastern Asian regions. Listen to Chuck talk about how he's seen these kids' lives grow so much, as well as a challenge he issues to you and me. I have a 12-year-old boy. His name is Ake. It's A-K. That's his name. And he's just so genius. This, this kid does all of our work. All, all of the, he does the setup for the program. On Saturday morning, he does the teardown, he does the wiring, he does the sound on the, on the soundboard. He, he does it all. And uh, he's 12 years old. It's, it's, it's amazing. And I, I, I can't say enough that what we're there to do is to change a generation of children, to change that thinking. That, that it, and, 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 and it's not Buddhist or Hindu or, or Muslim or... Or Christian, it's it's not about the the name of the the person. It's it's about the way they live. Buddhists don't live like Christians. Uh, Hindus don't live like Christians. Muslims don't live like Christians. Christians are the only ones that live like Christians. And these children are learning how to live through what they see in us. They have never met a God that loved them. They only know about these gods that they're supposed to love. But they don't answer them. And our God, Jesus Christ, he answers these kids. They, they see the changes. They see the prayers being answered. And our three kids, they go around, they pray for other kids. They actually go around and pray for other kids. When kids, kids come to them and say, I'm sick or I'm hurt, we'll pray for you. But they learn that through discipleship, through walking with us every day. That's what we're there for. And to train others to do it too. 16 years is the point where you can start seeing that next generation. That's neat. We in the United States have such a need to be training young people so we also can change that generation. How are you seeing this, what's going to be the next generation potentially living different lives because they have spent the last decade having that opportunity to witness what it means to be a Christian. The first thing that I noticed, Jennifer, is that these kids are having kids. But the kids they're having, they're bringing to kids' church. Now that says, that, that speaks volumes to me, that they know the place where their children should grow up and they know how they should be, even if their parents messed up, they still know what's right. And instead of taking them to the temple, they bring them to kids' church. So that's, that's a really big deal. That's one of the things, I hope that's a, a good answer to what you're saying. Uh, another thing is, the kids that, that we're training now are, are children who have dreams. That's that's something that so many kids don't have. They just don't have purpose. They have no idea what that even would be like to have goals outside of the garbage dump or, uh, or, or away from a, a real poor and slum-like life. Their parents' parents grew up in the slums and their parents grew up in the slums and now their children are growing up in the slums and and everybody's still in the slums, except for some of our kids are getting out of the slums now. And they've got dreams, they've got ambitions. And those things, I believe with all my heart, are coming from God. More from Chuck next week on Faith and Friends.